Um, this helps me to, to quickly rederive the formulas for, um, for the relationship or for, the, for x and y in terms of x prime and y prime. These should be primes. Okay, and for this particular problem, uh, I can use the fact that theta is pi over 6. So actually, x is just um, root 3 over 2 x prime minus 1 half y prime, and y is 1 half x prime plus root 3 over 2 y prime. Yeah. So, that is, uh, these are the formulas. And now I just do it. I just take these formulas and uh, figure out the equation of the new conic. So I take this old, the old conic, 13x squared plus 6 root 3xy plus 7y squared minus 16 equals 0. And I just plug this crap in. So you can just do this right now. You don't even need me for this. Oh, we should put the music back on now. Right about now, you may be thinking, man, I wish that coin had come up tails. Hey, Rob Rose. Hello. Um, can I say hi to the camera? Hi to the camera. Um, you can say hi to the camera. Hi to the camera, yes, indeed. You're doing math. You can just leave that, like, right there, it's fine. Okay. Um, is this cut off, or is this? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it is it's cut off. Blinking. No, but like, I mean, is it in frame? Oh, I don't know. I think it is now. Oh. All right, so now we just crank this out. I remember, I'll see you later. Okay, oh, wait, so what are you doing? I'm. You seem to be leaving your things. I, I know, I need to put them up. You need to what? I need to throw a tissue out of right, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. We were like rocking out a minute ago. We're going to put the music back on. You're having music while you do math? Yeah, because we're making this boring video. It's actually not boring, it's actually really awesome. But um, we are, uh, we are um, what's it called, uh, doing algebra, just so it's kind of more fun with this music, you know? If you could use like a... No, 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 no. Okay. don't try and fix, please don't. <laughs> oh, okay, so I think it's actually nice to just multiply through by four, because then it just kills all these annoying fractions, so I'm going to do that, kind of like in my head. So this becomes 13... Uh, <laughs> What is this? Is this uh, like some weird music. I mean, the, the math. Uh, oh, it's rotating conics. Oh, okay. Something that we never did. Conics. Because it's like hard. Are conics like in any way useful? Kind of, yeah. Oh. Okay. I love how math kind of loops around. There's that point where you no longer use your calculator, and then you wrap back around, and now you yep. use your calculator again. Yeah. Okay, so that's three. I'm trying to mess up my algebra here. Three minus one, so that's like two. Um, X prime, Y prime. Oh, that's right. Uh, I think that's right. Oh, this is slow shot. Um, Off. It's more fun with this. Oh no, perfect. Okay, so hopefully I'm not messing up. I think I'm not messing up, but you really never know. Uh, so let's just keep going. So I get 39 squared minus.
the way guys, I actually did this in my, I generally speaking went to like a terrible high school where everyone was really stupid and the standards were pretty low, but even I did this in high school. So it's actually not the most obscure thing in the entire world. Okay, well, one thing is really awesome, which should be a cause for rejoicing, and that is Let's locate all the x prime, y prime terms. Notice, glory, they all cancel, which is exactly what's supposed to happen, because after this massive derivation, we found that this is precisely the, um, this is precisely the angle which will make those terms disappear. So it's always going to work out. If it doesn't work out, you made some mistake somewhere. All right, so our final answer is whatever 39, 18, and 7 is, uh, what is that? 25 so 64. So I get 64 x prime squared, and then what's uh, one of these is probably wrong, right? Uh, hold on a second. Well, maybe maybe not. This should be maybe like a root three way up here. Yeah. So that's actually not 18 root 3, but instead it is 18. Yeah. And, okay, so what are the sum of my y prime terms? It's uh, 13 and 21, 34 minus 18, that's like 16. So plus 16 y prime squared, and then that's it, right? Minus 16 equals zero. Okay. So, yeah, divide through by 16, and you get 16 x prime squared. Uh, oh, this song really rocks. Um, plus y prime squared equals one. So after all of that work, uh, no, equals what? What happened? Something went wrong. Oh, another mistake I made way in the beginning. When I multiplied through by 4, that should be a 64. If you found this mistake and you were sitting there freaking out, um, I apologize for making you freak out. But this time, I did the work in advance. So that's good. So we get this. And now, finally, after all this, we get x prime squared over 1 plus y prime squared over 16 equals 1. Holy crap! This is actually just an ellipse! But it is an ellipse with respect to the uh, axes which have been rotated by 30 degrees uh, counterclockwise. So, I can actually graph this ellipse now, and I will do so. So here is this ellipse, 30 degrees, this is my x prime axis, this is my y prime axis, and uh, yeah, now I will um, do it, uh, what was I going to say, oh yeah, let's do it. Uh, so, what is this? It's an ellipse, which is uh, quote-unquote vertical. So, and one, two, three, four, and we have a one, and we have a two, or, yeah, no. So, there is my ellipse. It is ridiculously beautiful, and I can answer all kinds of questions about it. Okay, there are, in this packet, there are three more of these to do. Um, I don't know if we should do another one together or not, or I should just let you figure them out on your own. Let's maybe do one more together, or maybe we'll just start it together, and you'll finish it by yourself. Um, So, yeah, let's do that.
is like the longest video ever. All right, so yeah, let's do another, let's do, let's do last one. Turn to page three. And on page three, you have the equation two x squared minus three xy minus two y squared plus 10 equals zero. There's an xy term, so we cry. Um, and what we know is that theta is one half arctan um, b over a minus c. So, what is theta? It's one half arctan, uh, b is negative three over a minus c, so that's like two minus negative two, so that's four. Okay, uh-oh, this one's kind of annoying, right? Now the angle that I'm rotating is arctan, uh, one half arctan negative three fourths. All right, so I think the simplest way to do this is to, um, well, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a picture of arctan, we have to use like half angle formulas and crap now, it's the only way. So let's draw a picture of two, let's draw a picture of two theta, because two theta is arctan negative three fourths. So arctan uh, negative three fourths, oh man, my brain is falling apart, uh, is that angle right there, where this is five, that's negative three, and that's four. We jump, jump, yep. And keep in mind that that's two theta. Okay, so if that's theta, let's figure out what our sine and cosine. Sine theta is, uh, well, sine of theta is just the sine of that. So how do you take the sine of the half of half of an x? So this is, this is really just um, sine, sine of theta is sine of just like, you know, two theta over two or something. I don't know if that helps. So it's, it's the sine of that angle pictured uh, over two. And how do you do that? Um, well, there's a formula for this. Okay, half angle formula says that it is going to be, oh, and we gotta like go all the way back to like November with this, right? Because there's that plus or minus crap, but which is it gonna be? Since since uh, two theta is arctan negative three fourths, it's negative. So the sine is gonna be the negative one. So this is gonna be negative root one minus cosine two theta over two. That's just the half angle formula. You need to like know that. Uh, and then we can just, you know, keep on going with this. So what is that? That's negative root one minus and cosine two theta is uh, four fifths. So this is one minus four fifths over two and that reduces to uh, negative root one-tenth, right? Yeah. Uh, or you could just write it as negative one over root ten. So this is already like hard, just alone. And then what is cosine theta? Cosine theta is, well now I use the, so I just think of this as cosine of two theta over two. So it's going to be uh, half of this negative uh, fourth quadrant angle is going to be um, still in the fourth quadrant, so cosine of it will be positive. So I choose the positive one now, and it's one plus cosine two theta. So this is why this is kind of an incredible subject. It like, involves kind of like everything, conics, rotating axes, switching variables, matrix rotations, like double angle formulas, there's like a lot going on. It's also true that your chance of actually doing the entire problem correctly without messing up is like really small. Uh, so this is root uh, one plus, and because this is so, this is one plus four fifths over two, uh, and this is so that's like root nine tenths. So that's three over root sorry root nine tenths. So it's three over root ten. Okay, and now, for the third time, I will go through the logic again of how to derive these formulas. And hopefully, you're cool with these by now. Uh, so, I have the x prime and y prime coordinates. I want the x and y coordinates of some particular point. So I choose some particular point. I want to know how far to go over, how far to go up. And what I know already are the x prime and y prime coordinates. 
So I know um, you can draw it even more like over here, it usually works better. So I know how far to go over and how far to go up. That's x prime and that's y prime along those axes to get to my point. And what I do is I plot x prime, y prime. So that's x prime and that's y prime. And then I rotate. If this is theta degrees, then that is a theta degree rotation. And all of this is just there to remind me that the x and y coordinates of my point are what I get when I take the x prime and y prime coordinates plotted x prime comma y prime and rotate theta degrees. So, and I ro can rotate this vector by going cosine theta sine theta, jump jump, and then, um, whoa, cosine theta sine theta, and then negative sine theta cosine theta. So what is x? x is uh, cosine theta x prime minus sine theta y prime. You have no chance of just memorizing these formulas because they're just too similar to each other and like weird and stuff. So I think this is the, this is the most reliable way to do this in my opinion. All right, so I re-derived the formula. I had previously computed sine and cosine. So all of this, what this gets me is that, is the conversion equations. X is um, three over root 10 uh, X prime minus, no, that's minus a negative. So that becomes plus one over root 10 Y prime. And Y is uh, negative one over root 10 x prime uh, plus 3 over root 10 y prime. And assuming I did that correctly, which I did, these are now the equations that you are going to use. And what you do is, I think you guys get it by now, is um, I take these equations and I plug them in to this formula. And since I have chosen uh, with care the, this angle, uh, if you plug those equations into, uh, in, if you plug these conversion equations into this formula, then the, you'll get a new equation in x prime, y prime coordinates, and there'll be no x prime, y prime term. And this one turns out to be a hyperbola. Which again, uh, well, okay, turns out to be hyperbola. Okay, your homework, among other things, is to finish this packet, which means finishing this problem where I did all the hard work for you, and then there are two more problems that you have to do. Um, actually, maybe I'll just make you do page two, and then we'll kind of discuss and stuff and then you can do page four later, or you can just do the whole thing. I think I'm only gonna assign four of these problems, and we've already done one and a half of them, like total. Uh, and so then there'll be one problem like this on your test, and that's that. All right, so this concludes the two hour lecture, I can't believe I actually did this, on how to rotate conics to eliminate the xy term, and I hope you are all enjoyed it. I hope you watch this with multiple breaks. And I will see you, this is a happy uh, Memorial Day present, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye.